Hey, babe, you know how to whistle? Huh? <laughs> of course I do. My name is Crucible. I was once one of God's many angels up in heaven. However, I wasn't exactly anything special. I wasn't strong like Michael or loved and kind like Ramiel. But most disappointing for me was not being popular with the ladies like Cupid. No matter what I did, I could never get the girls to look my way. Down in the dumps after getting rejected by my childhood friend, I isolated myself. It was during that time that I was approached. Lucifer was regarded as the most beautiful of all the angels, having immense influence, looks, charisma, always knowing exactly what you wanted to hear in any situation. However, he was also a complete nut job and had an intense need for power and validation. Plus, he's a raging hermaphrodite homo. Even going as far as talking mad shit about the big man, it grew to the point of him starting a revolt against God's kingdom, and me being an idiot, I sided with him as he promised me all the women I wanted. Needless to say that his little rebellion was stopped swiftly. Archangel Michael led Heaven's army in battle and absolutely destroyed us. It was a one-sided pounding, not even close to being an even fight. Lucifer and all of his followers were damned down to hell. Halos incinerated and wings blackened. We were now fallen angels. Down in the pit of eternal torment, Lucifer, who now went by many names throughout history, he spent his time corrupting the souls of humans as he had an intense hatred for them, the favorite of all God's creations, creating them in his image. Starting with Adam and that dumb bimbo Eve, who was responsible for humanity's original sin, ever since she took a bite of that apple, it allowed the Prince of Darkness to enter the hearts of all of their descendants. Millennia after millennia had passed. Since then, Currently, hell is way more crowded than I ever thought it would ever be. Lucifer and his abominations have gone extra hard in the paint lately, corrupting the souls of mortals at an alarming rate, building up his armies to take on the kingdom of heaven again. Needless to say, everyone here is an absolute piece of shit sinner. As a fallen angel, I hold more status than most, but even after all these years, I still have the same problem as back then. I'm still maidenless. Instead, I'm surrounded by thoughts. All these bitches down here are for the streets. Hoes, tricks, sleuths, psychos, yandere's, the worst of the worst. Basically, any chick I've hooked up with was trying to use or kill me. I've given up on dating, on finding a partner, and just settling for sexy time with the succubi. Honestly, I thought I'd be fine with just smashing puss. But all I'm left with is emptiness. All in all, hell sucks. I've had enough and I want out. Before I thought it was impossible. But then about 2,000 years ago, I met an interesting fellow. He claimed to be the son of God and that he was down here after he took on the sins of man. Not long after, we went on a journey and I helped him leave through the gates of hell and ascend to heaven. Ever since then, I've been in deep shit with the princes of hell and stripped of my status. For years, I've been building up my strength and preparing myself for this day. Now I will do the same as that guy and ascend back up to heaven. The gates of hell are the only way in and out of this wretched place. These days, they're open quite a bit due to the high number of sinners flooding the earth, so there are plenty of opportunities to slip out. Lady Death and her faithful three-headed companion Cerberus. Even as a fallen angel, I have to be careful. Their power is nothing to scoff at, 
especially Lady Death, who is one of the oldest beings in existence. I must try to fool them, only engaging in combat as a last resort. <laughs> huh? And where do you think you're going, Crucible? I'm going up to the surface world on official business. Call off your boys, Miss Fat Fuel, and let me pass. Whoa! Call me that again, and I'll rip your dick off, then beat you with it until I'm satisfied. And I don't see your name on the list, so unless I hear whose orders, you're on real soon. Come on, babe. Don't be like that. No need to get so angry. You used to love it when I called you that a few hundred years ago while I was blowing out your back. Whose orders do you think? The Prince of Darkness himself. This is highly irregular for Prissy Pants to not inform me prior for an angel to leave. Stand down, boys. He's good to go. Thanks, sweetie. I'll be sure to come back quickly so you can see my handsome face again. Ah! Ah, what the f- You really thought that you could deceive me with this forgery? Next time, you should learn to check your spelling. Get him, boys! Bring it on! <laughs> what? Is that all you got? I should have known those weaklings weren't enough to defeat you. No matter. You'll be dealing with my ultimate guardian. Now, come Cerberus, teach this fool a lesson. Dare hurt my pup, you damn limp dick <laughs> Oh, come now. We both know that's not true, sugar tits. Shut your mouth! Now you deal with me. your boy, Big Dick Swing and Crucible. I ain't playing in these streets. Whatever, fool. I admit defeat. Hurry up and end it so I don't have to listen to your wretched voice anymore. Wait, what are you... <laughs> uh, I feel much better now. You really do have a great set of knockers and a dummy thick dump truck. I'm gonna borrow this seeing how you clipped my wings. I'll give it back once I've ascended back up to the pearly gates. Huh? Are you mad? You can't possibly think that you'd be allowed back up to heaven, do you? Why not? It's been done before. Besides, I'm sick of this place and want to go home. See you around, Death. <gasps> Holy... <laughs> I actually did it! I escaped hell! Now, where the heck am I? Hollywood! Oh, I remember now! This is where the humans live who sell their souls to Lucifer on the regular! Ha! Huh, I see! I must be in the American city of Los Angeles! Ha <laughs> ha! How fitting for this to be one of the entrance points to hell! What the? It looks like they're digging a hole for some reason. Wait, is that chick tied up? Well, sweetheart, I ain't a fan of killing broads, but you've interfered in our business too many times for me to continue to ignore you. 
Ouch! What the f- <laughs> Who threw a rock at me? I did, fat boy. Are you stupid or something? What the? No, please, wait! <laughs> Too late, mother- <laughs> Hey there, pretty lady. I hope these buffoons weren't too rough on you. Thank you very much, stranger. I thought I was done for before you came along. I owe you my life and promise to repay you. <laughs> I can think of a few ways for you to repay me, little lady. Oh. oh my goodness, you're bleeding bad! Don't die on me! Oh, my back. Where am I? Ah, good to see you're awake, partner. Oh my, what a sight to be treated to. Did a pretty young thing like you take care of me last night? <laughs> of course I did. You helped me out of a really bad situation after all. Yeah, drink up. I gotta change your bandages. So what's your name anyhow, sweetie? My name is Bonnie. Bonnie Buns. How about you, mister? Well, Bonnie Buns, my name is Crucible, and I'm new in town and don't know much about the area. Mind filling me in? Crucible. Oh, that's quite an interesting name. Sure, I don't mind giving you a tour of LA. But I gotta ask, where did you learn to fight like that? Last night you make short work of those scumbags. They were armed with machine guns while you only had a scythe. Well, hot stuff. I'm what you mortals would call an angel. And all of us angels are masters in every form of combat. The scythe belongs to Lady Death herself. I claimed it as my prize after clapping her cheeks. Although, she did clip my wings off. Now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I let her off too easy. <laughs> Those are quite the bold statements to make, mister. You're talking to a God-fearing woman. And even as a joke, I don't take kindly to claims of divinity. I guess it would be a normal reaction for you not to believe me. Especially since I no longer have my wings or my halo. Although, I haven't had the latter for a while. What? Your wounds have completely closed up. But how? You were severely burned and bleeding. Like I said, Angel, even if I have died, I would have simply returned to the Underworld. Not that I'm eager to go back there or anything. Underworld? I thought you said you were an Angel. Well, Fallen Angel to be specific. I'm here on Earth to redeem myself and re-enter the Kingdom of Heaven. A Fallen Angel, you say? Well, if that's the case, let's step outside for a moment, mister. Prepare yourself, Mr. Fallen Angel. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, wait. <sighs> what the f- Huh? Damn monster! Uh. Um. Great. Now we have another one of you bastards to continue to ruin this town. Another? What do you mean by another? The Lost Angels. The city has had a long history of drugs and gang violence, but a little over a year ago, things took a turn for the worse. A group of demons led by fallen angels took control by brutally murdering anyone who stood in their way. Cops, gang leaders, anyone who didn't submit to their will, including Bonnie's father. Come on, Bonnie. Grab your guns and all the ammo you can carry. Let's go get these sons of bitches. Jeez, are we really on Earth right now? This place doesn't look much different than hell. You got that right. California really went downhill after the damn commies took over. 
After enough of the good folks gave up or moved out of town, those damn monsters seized the opportunity to take over. Now you can't even go shopping without wearing a bulletproof vest. Fitting to catch a fade. Break your stuff. <laughs> Looks like you're the only one left. Oh, not so tough now, huh? Y'all were talking all that shit earlier, but now that your buddy's bean juice is all over you, all I see is a scared little bitch. Now then, I have some questions for you, and if you lie or attempt to keep information from me, you'll end up like your homies laying in a pool of your own Kool-Aid. Unfortunately for you, I know the advanced interrogation techniques of quite a few <laughs> up individuals. Alright boy, get out of here and repent for your sins. And remember, if you don't, I promise that me stuffing objects up your ass is nothing compared to taking the devil's horse cock. Sweet baby Jesus, what did I just witness? Aw, oh, that was nothing. Trust me when I say he got off easy. That guy was at the bottom of the pecking order, so we won't get any major inside info from him. But they were in the middle of a turf dispute with a rival gang over who could sell drugs in this neighborhood. And from what he told us, we'll find why they're cooking the stuff here. They have armed guards around the main entrance. All the windows are blacked out, so there's no telling what's inside. What do you say, Bonnie Buns? Wanna go in guns blazing and <laughs> shit up? <laughs> what the heck, why not? Alright, nobody move. As of now, this operation is over. Any resistance will be met with a bullet to your dome. What the? Are they zombies? Well, well, well. What do we have here? A wingless fallen angel along with a human. Not a combination you see every day. Heh, <laughs> a necromancer, eh? I'm guessing you run the show here. Me? I'm just a cog in the machine of the operation. Although, I must admit that I'm proud of the work I've done here. Slaves who never get tired or have the thought capacity to steal products. Now, I'll have them send you back to hell. Kill them. <laughs> to amass that many workers. Now I'll have to start from scratch. And I'll start rebuilding my horde with your woman. <sighs> now my strongest minions are coming for your ass. <laughs> Bring it on, pussies. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Don't kill me! I don't want to go back to hell! Unbelievable! You were talking so much shit before and now you're crying like a bitch! You bad guys are all cowards! Oh, lucky me! I'm saved! Kill these fools for me, please! You're the only fool here, insect. Looks like this location has been compromised. Ah, Crucible, I didn't expect to see you here. Huh? 
Do I know you? You have an awfully strong demonic stench, and it reeks. <laughs> you probably don't recognize me in my human form. It's me, Prince Greed. Greed? As in Maman? Why are you here on Earth? Aren't you and the other Princes of Sin supposed to be running your own circle of hell? Oh, Crucible ever the fool. But I guess you wouldn't know seeing how Lucifer hates your guts. We've been up here on the surface for a while now, with our plans close to completion. Oh well, I guess I'll just have to capture you for now. Uh. <laughs> This the best you can do. I'm just getting warmed up. God. How weak. Let me show you a real attack, little crucible. You've got to be shitting me. Was something. Uh. Holy shit, did I just luck out? the next time we meet. Phew, that was a close one. Not sure if it was the devil's luck or divine intervention. Crucible. I, I could use some help here, partner. Bonnie! Sorry I couldn't keep you safe back there. Hello there. I just need to do a quick checkup on her to see how she's doing. Awooga! Now that you're here, I need a checkup as well. <laughs> Is that so? What seems to be the problem? Well, you see, as soon as you walked in, my lower half suddenly swelled up. It's quite painful and won't seem to calm down. Would you mind if we go into another room to see what's wrong? Oh my, that does seem to be a big problem. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Not so fast, bitch. Huh? Uh. Huh. You knew what I was already, didn't you? Of course I knew. Just how many succubi do you think I've dealt with over the years? I can spot one of you hoes a mile away. Now it's time for you to die. <laughs> Too easy. All right, bitch. It's interrogation time. Ugh, you brute. So a powerful witch runs the hospital, using it to gather humans for demonic sacrifices, possession, and is the main supplier for the drugs in the city. Huh, looks like I hit the jackpot. And I see with Nightfall, this place changes into a demonic domain along with it. Whoa. I can't tell if I'm in a horror movie or a porno. Prepare to die. Mm, I haven't had a fallen angel in years. <laughs> in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, keep her safe from all the evil in this place. Divine protection. Your faith is strong will keep you safe while I'm away. Well then, I'm gonna need this to be more maneuverable in these tight spaces. Move out. I'm ready to kick ass and chew bubblegum. And I'm all out of bubblegum. Ma'am, it appears the Fallen Angel Crucible is wreaking havoc in your hospital. Hmm, 
Is that so? Well then, let's greet our uninvited guest properly, shall we? Fortunately, we have someone here who is dying to see him again. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, what the? Oh. A disgruntled doctor who has a personal bone to pick with him. Huh? Where the heck am I? Hello, Crucible. It's been a while. Oh, hello, Doc. Aren't you supposed to be in hell getting pineapples shoved up your ass with Schittler and the rest of the Wonderkrauts? I'm not German. I'm English, you buffoon. I still owe you for suggesting that torture. And I think I'll have the other guy come out to pay you back. <laughs> and here I was thinking I preferred dealing with old Beefy Boy. I'm gonna enjoy breaking you. Like I give you the chance, nerd. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. You skin wanker. I'm gonna enjoy every second of killing you, you little prick. Oh, I think I prefer dealing with the pencil neck after all. Get off me, homo! Only ladies are allowed on top of me. you managed to dispatch our doctor, there's no one else in this hospital that can defeat you. Accessory, of course. Come and meet me in my domain, where we will fight to the death. Whoa, this is quite the domain. to attack me. Rather rude entrance, but I'd expect nothing less from you, Crucible. Now then, let's not delay and jump right into it. Some fun crucible. Thanks for giving me all the fuel 
I needed to use my ultimate attack. Now, prepare to feel the mighty power of Raw. Oh shit, this isn't good. I'm sorry it has to be this way, Crucible. Maybe under different circumstances I get- Where did that come from? Never mind, this is my chance. You hesitated back there. Why? We met a long time ago. When I was doing my sentence in the Circle of Lust. <laughs> Fallen angels were always the most cruel whenever they came to have their fun in the Circle. But during one of the many beatings... Someone came to my rescue. Go find another woman. I'm claiming this one. <laughs> you were famous in the district. Aside from being a regular patron, for some reason you'd always rescue and hide humans away, sparing us a few hours of suffering. In that moment, you reminded me of someone I knew while I was alive. My childhood friend, who was always getting me out of trouble. We were orphans living on the street, and like most kids without parents, I resorted to a life of crime. My friend, on the other hand, was an anomaly, always straight-laced and chewing me out for my actions, trying to get me to read some book he was always going on about. One day I completed a simple job of locating some underground religious group's headquarters, but the pharaoh wanted gone. It was only afterwards I found out my friend was one of the leading members. The next day, they were executed. <laughs> I sold my soul to demons to get my revenge, and unleashed all my wrath before perishing, taking as many as I could down with me. I gave myself to darkness and never once went towards the light, even with the person I loved most shining brightly next to me. Whatever it is you're trying to do, Crucible, I hope, I hope you succeed. You succeed. <laughs> what have I been doing all these years? Uh-huh. Crucible? What happened while I was out? Good morning, Miss Buns. Well, I took you to the hospital, but it turned out it was infested with demons and distributed drugs through the city, so I took care of it. We have a long way to go before we fix up this city, but hey, it's a start. Confirming, Crucible is the one who destroyed the hospital. He's driving off with a human woman. He's only a small irritation now, but can become a problem if left unchecked. Heh. <laughs> Didn't Crucible send you running away with your tail between your legs, Greed? How pathetic. You wanna fight, Envy? Let's not fight amongst ourselves. You'll have eternity to do that after the plan is complete. Verona, Lucian, work together and take care of Crucible. Ugh, I'd rather not work with a flea-bitten mongrel. Watch your tongue, blood-sucking harlot. Enough with the bickering. Pride is here and I'd rather not have Wrath make an appearance instead. We're in the final stages of the plan. I expect you all to deal with this pest quickly. We found a large supply of drugs with the Lost Angels markings on them. Not to mention some questionable demonic altars in the rubble. Just when I thought things couldn't get weirder in this city, something big is going on. That idiot! Just how many blessings am I going to have to send him? I'm already going to get into big trouble for that lightning bolt. At this rate, he's going to get himself killed. 
Uh, I have no choice but to descend down myself. <laughs> 